One of the most trendy and depending on your taste buds, delicious products to come out of Brazil is smaller than a grape, but it packs quite the nutritious punch. And better yet, it's perfectly sustainable. Sean Caleb's ventures into the state of Amapá to introduce us to the acai berry. Acai products have become the latest fashionable, if not healthy drink to hit the United States. While it may be delicious and good for you, it isn't cheap. What people in the U.S. probably don't know is that for generations, people in Brazil's rainforest have embraced acai. Head down to the docks in Macapá, in the mouth of the Amazon, and look at all the kilos of acai heading off to factories or acai stands. Muito bom, principalmente ajuda muitas famílias, né? E gera emprego. The fruit is a $250 million business in the state of Amapá alone. About 200 times a day, 17-year-old Edmilson Silva scrambles up acai trees to harvest the berries. It's a steady income and a sustainable way to make a living. Here, where acai is plentiful, locals are stunned to hear the prices people in the U.S. pay for acai. Não, eu acho que é um absurdo, né? Porque aqui também, por nós ter, nós tem muito acai. É, muitas vezes se estraga, cai o acai, né? Se estraga. Então, eu acho que isso aí não deveria acontecer isso. While it is steady money, the work isn't easy. And it's a constant source of concern for Silva's mother. Tenho, tenho muito medo. Principalmente quando chove muito, porque dá mu é muito, muito vento e é arriscado assim raio. E mesmo porque ele sobe com faca, estressado. Mas aí é, tem que correr risco. There's lots of acai in the forest, but only about 7% of it is actually planted. The rest just grows naturally. But if acai continues to be this popular globally, Joseph Silva with Conservation International says that will have to change. Now that we have a problem because the production of acai is becoming so important for the U.S. market that people over there, they don't have the acai to, to, to drink anymore and uh, connect with that, the price is going up. While the demand is there, so is Edmilson Silva, painstakingly scaling acai trees. But he does take solace in knowing he's helping feed his family without damaging the Amazon. Porque se a Amazonia vai acabar com tudo. Tem muitas árvores, bichos em extinção lá. Se devastar tudo em Amazonia, vai morrer os bichos em extinção. The challenge is to find a way to balance the growing needs of consumption. And it could be one of the keys to preserving the rainforest.